Welcome to another episode of Barman Saturdays, and I also decided to take a look at Sheep and Wolves, a Russian animated film I picked up at the Dollar General for um, basically two boxes. Priced at $1.95, but throwing tax, it was definitely a bit over $2. As for the film itself, I think it's pretty uh, decent, but at the same time, it definitely has issues that hold it back. Uh, for starters, there's issues that come with the animation. I mean, it's quite colorful, but... The characters are normally bipedal, you know, so they're furries, but then when they're running, they'll be running on all fours, which makes no sense and is very off-putting and awkward. I'm not exactly sure what they were thinking when they did it, um, but it doesn't really work. It's sort of like, you know, on Barbie and the Three Musketeers with her cat, you know, like, walking on all fours, fine. Being on her back feet and the cat starts doing, you know, tumbles and flips and stuff, no, that is not okay, and it looks awful. Same issue here. But I have to admit, it's definitely a colorful film. Um, I've never seen so many different shades of blue, really. And they did a pretty solid job animating the fur, so I'll definitely give them a nod for that one. As for the plot itself, it's a bit weird. Uh, we basically have uh, two wolves competing for leadership of the pack. You know, you have Gray here who gets turned into a ram by drinking a transmutation potion he got from a gypsy rabbit. Um, and then you have the far more ruthless character whose name I can't remember because I really don't care because he doesn't really leave that much of an impression on you as a villain because he's such a generic knockoff of so many other villains. who's just like, when I lead the pack, I'm going to destroy the sheep and eat them all. And then we're going to starve and have to move somewhere else again. Because that's just how I like to roll. So he's like, Scar, only not to attach the Pride Rock, I guess. He's like, we'll just consume everything and then, you know, just stay in one place and die with Scar. Because he doesn't really think his plan's through. And with this guy, he's like, yeah, we'll consume everything, then move on to somewhere else. Even though we're going to leave no breeding population of sheep, eventually we're going to have to start eating berries and plants, which will make us not really, really proper wolves anymore. We'll be weirdos after they eat grass, like an Alpha and Omega. So, yeah, there's definitely some weird plot points here. With Grey eventually having to help the sheep, you know, stop the wolves from eating them all, and then transforms back into a wolf by proving himself worthy of being pack leader. Um, so, yeah, there, there's some other stuff in between that. There's also stuff, you know, when Grey, uh, I think they could use some uh, slower, more somber moments of points with Grey to show just how depressed he is over being turned into a ram initially, as well as when he finally gets kicked out and he's basically rejected by everyone, even his girlfriend, for being such a screw-up goofball. Um, they definitely could have done more with that. But yeah, overall, I'd say this is a pretty solid film, you know, if you're looking for a cheap film to enjoy. But it definitely has some issues. So overall, I guess most would argue it's probably just average. But that's better than being below average like some other film sitting over there on my fan right now. Till next time then. See ya. Never gonna get